Welcome to Mondays in the Psalter. I'm Pastor Vandercook. Uh, today we continue our look, uh, working our way through Psalm 119, looking at verses 50, uh, sorry, 65 through 72, uh, the Hebrew letter Teth, Teth, uh, on that uh, transliterated roughly as a T into English. It reads as follows, You have dealt well with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The insolent smear me with lies. With my whole heart I keep your precepts. Their heart is unfeeling like fat, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I was afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So here we see a little bit of what we are like before the law. Uh, looking at verse 67 in particular, the psalmist here writes, Before I was afflicted, I went astray. Uh, if we don't have the law, uh, we have no idea that what we're doing is wrong. Uh, it's, I mean, it's kind of a simple thing, but it's, it's just true that if we don't know what wrong is, what, what we're doing is wrong, uh, then we're, we're left in a very bad position. We are like those in verse 70 where it says their heart is unfeeling like fat, it says. You know how, uh, you know, the reason that God gives us fat on our bodies is so that we don't get injured, quite honestly. Uh, you know, there's a reason why whenever you uh, fall, it doesn't necessarily always hurt. And that's because you have cushioning, built-in cushioning on your body to uh, protect you from, uh, from falling. Uh, but there is also the, the idea that there's fat that keeps you from feeling things, and sometimes it's not good that you don't feel things. In this case, we're talking, of course, about God's law. If we don't feel that what we're doing is wrong, then there's something wrong with what we're feeling. We're not feeling the right thing. Uh, our consciences have been hardened. Um, <laughs> It's kind of interesting we talk about fat being soft and then our consciences are hardened. It's the same kind of idea using kind of opposing metaphors there. But uh, look at it this way. Um, Luther in his uh, 20 questions, uh, the questions that he has for those that would go to the sacrament, um, he has the question here, uh, and I'll pull it up real quick in my, uh, in my catechism so I, I get it quoted correctly here. You have the question about, what about those who say that they don't need the sacrament, for example? They don't need what's offered by God in the sacrament. Um, so it's in, uh, what, should, what, what should admonish and encourage a Christian uh, to receive the sacrament frequently? Oh, I'm sorry, 20. But what should you do if you are no longer aware of this need and no and have no hunger and thirst for the sacrament? And Luther gives um, three answers to this. First, uh, such a person to such a person, no better advice can be given than this: that he should touch his body to see if he still has flesh and blood. Um, then he should believe what the scriptures say of it in Galatians 5 and Romans 7. So, do you have flesh and blood? Are you alive? then the fact is that you are a sinner who is in need of forgiveness. So um, we need the law of God to show us what we've done as wrong as Christians. And then in turn, once we have been converted, now we need the law of God to show us how to live as Christians. This is um, what uh, the psalmist writes in verse 71 here. It is good for me that I was afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. We are afflicted uh, by the law of God because it shows us our sin. We are granted forgiveness of sins in Christ Jesus. And now we desire to learn God's statutes because we desire to learn and grow as his people and to love our neighbor as Christ has loved us. This is what God's law 
uh, does for us. First, it shows us our sin. Then the gospel gives us the forgiveness of sins. And now we look again to God's law in a different way. We look at it as a way to show us how to live as Christians. So delight in the law of God, delight in the word of God, uh, seek to do what he wills you to do in his word. Pray God's blessings on you this week. Uh, we'll see you next week on Mondays in the Psalter.